Good afternoon. Uh, the April 27, 2010 meeting of the Recreation and Education Committee will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Gamble is excused. Mr. Gumina? Here. Ms. Cayley? Here. Mr. Tucciarello? Here. Mrs. Valerio? Here. Is there anyone signed up for the public forum? Uh, there's not. In that case, is there anyone present who is not signed up who would like to address the committee at this time? There being none, the next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes. You have the March 23rd, 2010 minutes of the Recreation and Education Committee before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. The next item on the agenda is new business. Madam Clerk. Referral 10-132, authorize an amendatory agreement with Sutter's Marine. Moved by Mr. Tucciarello, seconded by Mr. Gumina. Any questions? Okay, Ms. Kim. Yes, through you, Madam Chair. Um, the last agreement was, if, if I understand, was for rent of 3% of gross. And through the chair, is has that, um, no, I'm not saying it right. Where does that revenue show in past budgets? Through you, Madam Chair, Larry Stubb, Director of Parks. Um, that revenue shows in the County um, Parks Department's uh, revenue line. Okay, thank you. And um, through you, um, through the chair, could you just explain um, or describe concessions? I think I know what that is, but I'd just like it explained. Through you, Madam Chair, um, concessions as it relates to this contract? Yes, I'm sorry. Um, through you, Madam Chair, um, the concession um, described in the referral um, include the uh, rental of 152 docks. Uh, also, um, the uh, operator provides fuel, pump out service, uh, operates a ship store, um, services boats, and uh, provides winter storage, and also operates a boat launch. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? There being none, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. All those opposed? Item carries. Referral 10-133, authorize a contract. Okay, uh, moved by Mr. Gumina, seconded by Mr. Tucciarello. Any questions? Mr. Gumina. Do you, Madam Chair? to Director Staub. Uh, Director Staub, had any other firms responded to this RFP? Through you, Madam Chair. Uh, yes, they did. Through you, Madam Chair. Or, yeah, through you, Madam Chair, to yeah. Director Staub. Um, approximately how many? Is, is this normally, these RFPs, do they, do they get a dozen proposals? Do you have a handful? Through you, Madam Chair, um, we put out uh, annually a uh, request for qualifications. Um, and initially on this project, 18 firms um, expressed interest. Um, that was winnowed down uh, based on qualifications um, and uh, uh, ability uh, to perform this uh, work um, down to four, uh, five firms. Um, and then we asked those five to send in formal proposals. That way we don't waste um, a lot of people's time. Um, and of those four, uh, EDR was um, uh, decided to be the uh, uh, best firm to perform this service through an th through a official RFP process. Thank you. Through you, Madam Chair, um, to Director Staub. During this process, is there, are there opportunities for the public to be engaged? Through you, Madam Chair, no. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me, let me rephrase the question. Through you, Madam Chair. Through the actual development of the master plan, um, will there be an opportunity for public to be involved? Through you, Madam Chair, of course. Um, <laughs> I, I misunderstood yes, your I question. Understand. I thought you meant through the RFP, RFP. process. Yeah. 
Um, yes, uh, most definitely. The um, master plan process is inherently a public process. And um, one of the first things um, we will do, um, pending um, approval by the legislature, is uh, have an initial public meeting um, where we kick off the master planning process and uh, initially solicit um, ideas that the public has um, pertaining to the park um, in question, which in this case is powder mills. Okay. Th through you, Madam Chair, thank you, Director Stahl. Um, how, long does a, how long does it take typically for a master plan to be uh, developed? Through you, Madam Chair, um, that depends on the amount of uh, work involved. Also de depends on the uh, level of public interest. Um, the last master plan we did um, with um, the Ellison Park area took approximately 18 months. Um, this master plan, we are um, <coughs> trying to uh, keep within a schedule of seven months, um, but it, it all depends on you know, the amount of work that's going to be involved. With this master plan, it could take a little longer because this is the first master plan that's being conducted for this park. One last question through you, Madam Chair. Um, the approximate start date for, uh, for this master plan would be? Through you, Madam Chair, um, we anticipate that would be June of 2010. Thank you, Director Stahl. Thank you. Are there any further questions? Thank you, um, through you, Madam Chair, to Mr. Staub. In the, in the, the park's 2011-2016 um, handout, it, it shows powder mills with an expenditure of 150,000 in 2012 and then a million in 2013. This is 2010, so I'm um, wondering how that works into the budget. Is this additional? Through you, Madam Chair, yes. This this was programmed for 2010, so if you went back a year, you would see um, this money programmed in 2010. What this is, is the master plan year. Um, next year, 2011, uh, which you described, would be the um, uh, design year for any uh, projects that come out of the master plan. Uh, we would hire a firm to design those projects. And the following year would be the construction year. So there's planning, design, construction. Um, thank you. Through the, through the chair, um, there's a blank on 2011, so we really mean 2012? Or am I just misinterpreting the way that the, the, gra the blocks that I have? I have, if, if what you're saying is 2010 is the funding for this particular beginning of the master plan, then there's no expenditures in 2011, and then it's 2012 that has 150K. It Are we just moving it forward? Through you, for through you Madam Chair, um, I misunderstood um, what you had said originally. Um, okay. As I had said to Mr. Gamina, we anticipate that this um, plan will take um, us into 2011 okay. uh, for the planning portion. Um, so we plan on wrapping up the uh, planning um, in 2011, and then the design um, would be in 2012. The construction would be 2013. Thank you. Any further questions? I, I'm just curious. Um, is that million, that, that number that you have out there, is that for a new lodge, or you think, or, or just various improvements total? Through you, Madam Chair, that's why we hire consultants. Um, we'll, curious. we'll, uh, Deter that will be determined as part of the master plan. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, I, I wouldn't want to uh, uh, wager a guess on what those projects would be, but I, I would um, take a very educated guess and say that um, the bulk of that million dollars will be spent in rehabbing the structures that we have in place already because it is a fairly developed park um, now and... Um, it is uh, um, an aging park, so um, a lot of those structures are in need of some uh, rehab and some care. Thank you. Any further questions? 
There being none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Any opposed? None. Item carries. Referral 10 134. Moved by Mr. Tucciarello, seconded by Mr. Gumina. Any questions? Mr. Tucciarello. Through you, Madam Chair. Uh, what type of equipment are, are we uh, looking at to uh, share between um, these different entities? Uh, through the chair, um, this is primarily, uh, this is Mike Garland, uh, Director of Environmental Services, and I'm here with uh, Melvin Rose, County's Fleet Manager. Uh, this equipment is, is predominantly heavy equipment, uh, which would include um, uh, dump trucks, rollers, excavators, uh, bulldozers, um, wideners, uh, trailers, hydro seeders. That's the typical type of equipment that, that is within our shared services agreement. Um, is there uh, currently a, a great need uh, through these among these entities to to share this equipment, or um, or will we be seeing a, a growth in sharing as the fleet of equipment gets more compacted over time? Uh, if there's five dump trucks available and we only really need three or four because of sharing, will that help the the growth of savings? Uh, over time, is, are we looking at this twofold, or is it s such a, a need right now? Uh, through Madam Chair, uh, as you may recall, this agreement was put in place uh, just over a year ago uh, in, in an effort to reduce a duplication of equipment purchases um, in, in other municipalities. Uh, this referral then extended further so that um, uh, MCC and, and other uh, governmental entities, if you will, uh, would not have to purchase, say, duplicate uh, pieces of equipment. Um, the equipment that we have within our shared services fleet is predominantly used for uh, county highway projects that the towns uh, construct for us, and, and certainly Director Rice can expound on that more. Uh, but there certainly is an efficiency. Uh, certainly uh, you know, the foundation here is intermissible cooperation, uh, and thereby brings down our, our overall cost, if you will, uh, collectively for uh, fleet, uh, fleet equipment. And as you know from the referral too, this includes fuels uh, as well as fleet maintenance. So uh, through you, Madam Chair, um, as time goes on and, and, uh, and, and more, uh, more entities get involved with the sharing, um, what we'll not only see is, is a savings on our end but a community-wide savings because other entities that make up our our community such as uh, MCC um, will be able to share in the program so not only will we see savings but uh, the community as a whole through other entities will also see savings through Terry Rice director of transportation uh, through you madam chair uh, I I guess the answer to that it's uh, certainly possible and probable um, that there should be some savings. I think we got to look at the different components of what this the agreement is. In terms of equipment, there's always going to be equipment that certain entities, whether it be the college or whether it be another public uh, authority or a highway department for a town needs to have. They all will need to have dump trucks. Um, but there is certain piece of equipment that maybe they don't need to all have, such as we have road wideners, we have some of the rubber tire rollers, they have other different, we might have excavators, they might have other pieces of equipment that we can use of theirs and they can use of us, likewise the same with possibly an authority or, or an MCC. Similarly, where there could be some savings is that you wouldn't have on the alternative fuels as, uh, as Director Garland just talked about is you wouldn't have to have all, say, a fueling station if we have some of the different fuels at one or several locations around the county, they all don't have to have their own. You wouldn't have to have one at MCC. They could come and fuel at, uh, at, our, at our place, just like the towns can do now or the uh, city of Rochester. So as well as equipment, uh, you, you know, getting uh, equipment fixed. So I don't want, I'm, we're still gonna need equipment. We just may, over long term, it would be more efficient in the what equipment you're going to be buying if it's available somewhere else. Thank you. Any further questions? Mr. Gamina. Thank you, Madam Chair. Through you, 
to Director Garland. Um, is this agreement, that, does it cover uh, school districts as well? Uh, through you, Madam Chair, uh, yes, it does. And through you, Madam Chair, um, did, did last year's agreement include school districts? Uh, through you, Madam Chair, no, it did not. Okay, all right. I was gonna, my last question was going to be, have we had any school districts actually take us up on the sharing? Um, but probably not yet because they haven't had the opportunity. Through you, Madam Chair, that is correct. Okay, thank you. Kayla, thank you. Through Madam Chair, um, even if this wasn't going uh, working last year with school districts, has there been uh, conversations and interest from school districts to engage in this? Uh, through you, Madam Chair, uh, I'm not aware of any conversations at this point, but the refer this referral does open up that opportunity. Okay, okay thank you. Um, and additionally, just for my information, could you define what the county considers to be municipal corporation? Madam Chair, a municipal corporation is defined in the general mun construction law, excuse me, of the state as a county, a city, a town, a village, and a school district. Okay, thank you. That's all. Any further questions? There being none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. All those opposed? Item carries. Are there any other matters to come before this committee? Okay, there being no further business, the April 27th, 2010 meeting of the Recreation and Education Committee stands adjourned. The next meeting of the Recreation and Education Committee is scheduled for May 25th, 2010 at 4.30.